guys welcome to another episode of the delicious cooking series in this episode i'm going to be sharing with you a simple three course meal that you can use to impress your family and your loved ones this holiday season now i'm sure most of you have heard about this drink called angostura bitters now when you hear angostura bitters you hear you think of the bar but today we're going to be taking angostura bitters out of the bar and we're bringing it into the kitchen and I'm going to be using Angostura beaters to show you how to make this simple three course meal. I'll be using the Angostura aromatic beaters and the Angostura orange beaters to make all of the recipes in my three course meal and then I will show you how to make a simple cocktail that will pair very well with the three course meal. Now you guys just dump the belief that Angostura bitters is meant for just drinks alone. I'm about to blow your mind and show you how to put it to very good use. Now, just in case you didn't know, Angostura bitters is actually pack loaded with flavor and can improve the taste of whatever recipe you choose to create with it. Don't worry, I'm here to give you all of the ideas that you need on how to put these bitters to very good use. So let's get right into the cooking action, shall we? The first meal is my appetizer and for that I'm making some savory chicken bites and this one's very easy to make the full ingredient list for all of the recipes i'll be making today will be in the description box down below so be sure to check it out there okay now start by adding the lemon zest the lemon juice olive oil two tablespoons of the angostura orange bitters some dijon mustard garlic paste black pepper and some salt to taste i also added some fresh parsley as well now this marinade is the bomb.com guys you need to trust me on this one mix everything to combine then add the chicken breast that i've cut into bite-sized pieces ensuring that each piece is fully coated in the marinade now leave this to marinate for at least one hour or at most 24 hours or overnight the longer it sits in the marinade the more flavorful the chicken pieces would be after marinating place the chicken pieces in wooden skewers And then afterwards, assemble them on an oven rack and then place them in a 180 preheated oven and allow to grill for 20 minutes or until it is fully browned. Afterwards, take it out of the oven and allow it to rest before serving. This one is a major hit, guys. I set this with some lemon wedges. This one is a hit, guys. I promise you. For the main meal, I'm making glazed chicken breast with some orange rice. We will begin by pan searing the chicken breast. Now simply add the chicken breast into a pan that's already heating up on medium to high heat and season generously with some salt. Alternatively, you can use some lamb chops for this if that's what you prefer. I didn't find lamb chops around me so I'm using chicken breast for this. Now while it is pan searing, prepare the glaze that will go with the chicken. Add the garlic paste to a bowl followed by the Worcestershire sauce or you can use oyster sauce if that's what you have and then I'm also adding some Angostura aromatic bitters, honey, some red wine vinegar, anchovy paste, oregano and some salt taste. Mix together to combine and then set this aside. Now flip the chicken breast pieces to the other side and allow to brown as well before taking it out of the pan. In the same pan, pour the glaze mix and bring to a gentle simmer. Then add the chicken pieces back into the pan and coat generously with the glaze mix. I added a little liquid to help the chicken cook through in the glaze. Cover and leave to simmer for 5 minutes or until the glaze has reduced in size and has thickened up slightly. Before I took it out of the heat, I coated the chicken pieces generously with the glaze. Now meanwhile, for the rice, add the washed rice to a pot of boiling water and cook till tender. 
in a bowl add some butter orange zest garlic paste nutmeg cayenne pepper and some salt to taste along with the angostura orange bitters place in a microwave and allow the butter melt completely this should take about one minute or uh, one minute and a half then take out of the microwave and then mix to combine generously When the rice is fully cooked, add the butter mixture into the rice and mix thoroughly again to combine. Now this will flavor the rice slightly and give it a nice and a beautiful aroma. Now finish it off with some spring onions and serve on a plate along with the glazed chicken. For dessert, I'm making a yummy angostura biscuit. Now start by adding the flour into a bowl, followed by the baking powder, sugar and some salt. Mix together to combine, then add the room temperature butter and continue mixing until it is nice and crumbly. This time you would have to go in with your hands to ensure that it is nice and crumbly. Afterwards, add the milk and the angostura orange bitters and give it a good mix to combine. To so sweeten it up further, I added some raisins and then I also added some orange zest for some flavor. Mix it in thoroughly. Then use a scoop to scoop out spoonfuls of the dough onto a tray that's lined with parchment paper. Place in a 180 preheated oven and bake for 15 minutes or until the biscuits are slightly browned. Now to finish this off, I'm making a simple cocktail that will pair well with my yummy meals. Place some ice in a glass followed by any fizzy drink of your choice and then finally some angostura aromatic bitters. Mix everything to combine and garnish with a lemon wedge. It's that simple guys. <laughs> You guys certainly need to be in this kitchen right now. I'm so excited about this three course meal that I have created. It smells really amazing. And I certainly had a taste of it while I was cooking. And trust me, it's the bomb.com.ng. Now you have an idea on how to use Angostura bitters to prepare your meals and then make a drink as well. It just literally just helps amplify the taste of things. And I totally and absolutely love it. If you'll be recreating this three course meal or any of the recipes that I shared today, please do not forget to take a picture and upload on your social media platforms and tag Zonicious Foods and Angostura bitters so that we can see your recreations and repost and share for the whole world. To see it as well. All right, guys, I'll see you next time with more mouth watering and delicious recipes. Until then, remember to be very kind to one another, love yourself generously, and it's me, the queen of Fun and Fast Cooking, signing out right now. Take it, guys.